Maybe the first thing to say about the ecstatic is to say something about the word itself, ex, static, static being an old word having to do with stance. And you can hear in static not moving, uh, a static position. Ek, or ex it really is, means to step out of your usual position. To, ecstatic is to, to leave your usual self behind and step into an, an entirely different world. Um, from the old Irish point of view, that other world that is deeper as well as higher, that is richer as well as uh, more subtle, is around us all the time. And traditional cultures would have many ways of slipping or stepping out of the static roles that people usually call their identity in order to be in touch with this subtle ecstatic that is around us. And one reason to do it would be to completely renew one's consciousness. It's like swimming in the divine would be another, another way to refer to it. And so people use song and they use dance. People use even jumping around. Traditionally, there's many ways to go at it. But the core idea is to get out of one u one's usual uh, position and one's usual, what we would call in the modern world, ego attitude or ego identity. In the background, you can hear Aboriginal women. They're singing, they're talking, they're allowing their voices to carry them further. In the background, you can see an Aboriginal painting where it's about this other world that is actually penetrating this world. It's very close, but it looks very different. A lot of people you know, in the modern world use drugs and things to get this feeling of the ecstatic. And as the world becomes a more pressured place, as it becomes a more discordant place and a less welcoming place, one of the few ways to get back to the pure exuberance of living is to find ecstatic circumstances. Um, probably the core energy in the ecstatic is joy. There's a difference between joy and happiness. In modern America, people know that you have the right to pursue happiness. The only problem is happiness is not really what we want. Happiness is okay. The problem with happiness is it's related to the word happenstance. Happiness is something that happens and then it's gone. In the ecstatic, chanting, singing, dancing, making of music and all the ecstatic practices of ancient times that are making kind of a comeback, you find levels of joy. And once joy enters a person, it remains there. Joy is part of the eternal, whereas happiness is part of the temporary and immediate. And so the ecstatic practices which appear in some sense in all cultures are the variety of ways that people have used and now use in order to reach the joy that's at the center of creation and in order to feel again the pure exuberance of the gift of life. And as the world gets darker and more troubled and the uncertainty grows, every once in a while, Stepping into the ecstatic is one of the few ways to renew one's eyes for beauty and one's feeling for being alive.